Hey guys, today I'm going to Cosmania. As you can see, I'm dressed in cosplay. I literally just put this together this morning. Dandadan is currently my favorite anime. I've read like all the manga that's out already because not everything is out yet, obviously. So I put this together super early this morning. Um, These earrings are super ratchet. I literally just painted them and DIY them, but my friends are almost here to pick me up. So that's why I'm rushing to get on out of here. So yeah, I haven't been to a convention in so long. I am ready to go. Okay, anyways, I'll just put this fit check. I'm Momo! I also don't have a wig for her, so that's why I kind of just tied my hair up in buns at the back. And this is what we're working with. Okay, let's go! Look at my chonky dog, she's so cute! And we're now on our way to Cosmania. We were just jamming out in the car and listening to some anime music to prepare ourselves for what is to come. We got to the convention center and I was pleasantly surprised to see that there wasn't a long line to wait outside and we got in pretty fast. It took us a bit of time to figure out where to go to enter the hall amidst the sea of people, but we eventually found it. Our tickets for the con were digital and we had a QR code, so we didn't need to do any pickups. We just lined up at the door, they scanned us, stamped us, and off we went to adventure. The direction I took to go about this con was to go from the rightmost hall all the way to the left. When we got to our first hall, there was actually a Valorant show match going on for Vols, which is a Southeast Asian VTuber company. They host other things in this hall, but this is the only thing I got to see here. We also saw Rabi here cosplaying Trailblazer from HSR, and here's Drexina cosplaying as K-Angel from Needy Streamer Overload. The VTubers had a mini concert too, so we were just dancing along, and here's Magu in her poro hat, so cute. Moving along now, we're back to the main area of the con, and this section is for all the food. At first glance, you can see how cramped it is with people both standing and sitting on the floor. But you know what? I feel like sitting on the floor is actually more comfortable. I was impressed at the selection of stalls they had because the times that I've been at cons in the Philippines, the food was kind of not great. And walking past these stalls, some of them actually smelled really good. Like I would order this kind of food if I saw it for delivery. Right next to the food area is Artist Alley. And this con had a very interesting layout with the Artist Alley spread across the hall, one section to the right and one section to the left. Personally, I'm not a fan of the layout because I like it when Artist Alley is all together. Like I wish it was upstairs or something because it could have used a lot more room too. It was kind of hard to look at the different booths when there was barely any space between them. I also wanted to showcase some of the booths I saw for a little bit because their artworks are really nice. This first booth I want to show you is by a Rumi cat. Her art is super adorable. She has so much Splatoon merch and cute animals too. I've never played Splatoon, but I've always wanted to. She's even got a gacha machine for some sweet treat stickers. This booth is by Neobsidian and they had some TF2 stickers, which I was so shocked to see. I honestly very rarely see Valve merch at cons too so this was really cool to spot the next booth is by lumi skull girl and what i found most interesting at the booth was the hair clips she had they're so cute and would be such a fun accessory to wear this next booth is dai sakagumi and they're actually an art collab group so i think it's multiple people's work at this booth but i love their snoopy stickers they're so cute they also had this really funny wanted poster of ito and i just love the giga chad face it's so fitting for him now let's get out of the stream of people and move on to the store exhibitors funny enough the first store i got to check out was unbox toy shop and and it's manned by a friend of mine, Alvin. He's really nice and I've known him for a couple of years now. We met working together on a shoot when I used to be at Bren Esports and he was so kind to give me a box with a Pixar figure set. They have a lot of cool figurines at their booth and a really good variety as well. Next is Anne Panic. Their booth has tons of cute anime merch and lots of plushies. I didn't get to go inside this store though because there was a lot of people looking around. There was also this really interesting Gasha Scoop booth where you could win figures valued at a pretty decent price but I do believe the entry fee to play was pretty high as well. You do get your money's worth though for the value of the figurine you're guaranteed to win. The next booth I want to show you guys is South Rage 3D. Everything you see here is 3D printed and hand painted. Their works look so professional and they have such a wonderful variety of figurines. My favorite thing at their booth though was their 3D printed keycaps. Look at all these different characters and doodads. They also recognized me from my Dota hosting days and were so kind and gifted me a keycap so I chose the EVA 011. Now thinking about it, I really wish I bought more from them. Do check them out. I've got links of most of the stuff I feature in the description of this video. Onwards! What are Ronaldo and Messi doing here? I wonder if they like anime. This booth called Kentaro Collectibles had some nice figurines too. I like their display case with the warm light, but most of all, I like this Gojo so much. Next is the Kostaku Shop. They have a lot of anime clothes here, so if you're keen to support your favorite shows, you know where to go. There was also a brother booth and they were selling these embroidery machines and I was so tempted to buy one. They also had a Gamdias 
booth. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you could 1v1 in Tekken, which is pretty cool. And there were tons of people watching these and lining up to play. If you remember from when I entered the convention, the first thing we actually saw was this huge Pizza Hut booth. They were selling pizza, obviously, and there were people just chilling inside the booth. So I think it was some kind of rest area as well. This was a cute Anya Spider-Man meme moment. Even Yor and Lloyd jumped in. This humongous booth had to be one of my favorites. Inside was a ton of figurines and collectibles with a really good amount of space to be able to take your time looking at what they have to offer. It was also organized really well, so I wasn't at all overwhelmed despite having a lot of products. They had a really nice selection of Nendroids. In the front of the cashier was some gacha boxes, and I'm telling y'all, I had to hold back so hard from buying things because I'm trying to save money. I wanted this Momo so bad. Next is a booth with the most precious crochet goods. Stunning, I tell you. I'm so happy to see that they have lots of Disney crochet because I'm a huge Disney fan. Ariel is my favorite. And they've got all sorts of crochet crafts from anime to cartoons to video games. And honestly, this was also one of my favorite booths from the convention. Here's an area which we actually should have headed to first. At this station, they give you a large map with QR codes that will guide you to do a bunch of different quests at Cosmania. I didn't take part in the other quests because it seemed like a lot to do and we weren't going to be here for too long, but I did want to write a little note on the wall to leave my mark and to say hi to whoever sees it. In front of the message wall was a large area for cosplayers to take photos and videos and really show their stuff. This Voldemort cosplayer was super cool. Bordering this area is a bunch of cosplayer booths. Prince de Guzman's cosplay booth was a standalone and showcased his amazing crafts and costume. I admire Prince and Aoi's work so much because you can really see how much they love the art of cosplay. I didn't spend too much time looking at the cosplay booths because there was a lot of people around, so I did a quick regroup with my pals and then continued on a walk around the expo. I think there was actually something like a cosplay contest or some kind of thing going on stage, but unfortunately we just missed it. This booth was two sellers in one, Otaku's Den and Beanie Me. Their stuff was really cool, I love their hats, especially the BMO one. And now we're back into the other side of Artist Alley. This second first booth is also a collab booth and I believe they called it Brain Rot Borbos, but I've linked some of the artists from the booth below. They had a lot of Pokemon merch and I really love this button down shirt. The color is so pretty. They also had a lot of really nice keychains and stickers too. Next are these two booths by Yunlai and Ariesa. Both of them have Hoyoverse merch and I love the art styles of both so much. This booth was also one of my favorite Artist Alley booths. It's by Kapal Kilai and he had the sensor washi tape which is so creative and funny. Also his stickers are so nice. I love these buff animals so much. And he had Omori art prints. I love this print of Mari and her picnic. It's so colorful and pretty. The last artist alley booth we visited is by Mumu Art and she has the cutest trinkets and stickers. She had so many miscellaneous goods at her booth and I loved how everything was in theme. So soft and adorable. Tina even made a purchase. Lucky enough we were also able to catch a performance on stage and it was so much fun to watch. They were dancing and singing and everything just felt really wholesome. It's so inspiring to see people just having fun and being happy do what they love and I feel like that's one of the greatest parts of these conventions is that people come here to be whoever they want to be free of judgment and negativity. But yeah that's pretty much all from me for Cosmania. I got some videos with some cosplayers but I'm a dummy and I forgot to get their socials. I'm so sorry. But yeah if you enjoyed this video please do let me know. Also don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. That's all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye.